So at the end of last year, the guys at Resist the Lift contacted me about us having a barbecue or a get together here at Transport HQ. And it's commonly known that here at Transport HQ, we're big fans of the preface and we're a kind of opposed to the idea of face lifting a vehicle. And the reason being, as far as I'm concerned, these are the original T5s. These are still my favorite look, as they are with many people. And there's just kind of a culture where people decide they want to make their van look more modern and make it look like a T6.1 or T5.1. And I get it. But the reality is, in my opinion, and lots of others, you're just reducing the value of that vehicle. These things are the future classics and they'll continue to be that way. But when, the way I put it is, and I've mentioned this before, imagine if people facelifted bays, if they, an early bay and they facelifted it to a late bay, it'd be worth far less money. The goal would just be to, as what we're starting to see now, is people start face dropping them back again. And they've become a culture and there seems to be lots more and more people now that have taken a face lifted T5.1 and they're putting back to a preface to a T5 because they look that good. That's my opinion anyway. Many might disagree, but my opinion is the preface T5 is the best looking transport there ever was. I like others, but for me, the preface is where it's at. So this gathering here is all people that have got preface lifted T5s, that have kept them T5s, and some that have gone T5 but want to go back to T5s because they've realized that's the way it should be. But that's, okay, my opinion, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But anyway, we have some absolutely stunning preface T5s here. These guys can show you that you don't have to facelift the T5 to make it look special. You can make it look special or crazy or, or individual your own way. So we had the, we decided to do this gathering. We put tickets out there and it's all in aid of a really serious charity, which we'll put the link to below here. So it crews, uh, bereavement support. 90 odd vans, I think, all preface lift, all different shapes, colors, sizes, wheels, suspension, you name it, everybody here was welcome as long as it was a preface. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to show you some footage of some of the stunning vans that have come along to visit us today. Thank you everybody for coming. It's crazy, but so good to see so many prefaces together. I've always made it common knowledge that I'm a massive fan of a preface, and I don't think, contra that even though we've done it with a flatbed, that was a mistake we made, but we rolled with it. These things are the next classics, and they are the original. This is where the T5, the T5.1, the T6, T6.1 came from, from this vehicle here. And it's so good to see so many in one place. If there was a world record for the most prefaces in one event, this is surely would be it. And there should be a record because they, look, they just look so good. And it's so good to see people 
it just shows that you don't have to have a preface and it you need to facelift it to make it look good because you lot have proved that whether you've just kept it a basic pan of iron, whether you've put caravel fronts on it, or whatever you've done with it, that you can make them look good in their own way. There's no two bands here that look the same. They're all so individual and they're all so good, whether they've kept basic, whether they've been absolutely blinged to the eyeballs, whether they're on air, static, lifted, lowered, no matter what, you can all make them individual and you can make them look good. At the end of last year, was it? September and said, how about us having a preface event at Transport HQ? And thank you for helping me arrange the event and thank you for coming down. So instead of wanting to do like a first, second, third award, because in my mind, every, it sounds corny, but everybody's a winner for being here. But we just wanted to do three winners. So these guys the org that run Resist the Lift have gone around and they've picked their three favourite. So these aren't in order, but these are the top three from, from the club's admin team. So we've got the um, black band, it's R3WSC. Next up, um, we have the blue doka that's down there. Cool. And we appreciate the work that went into it. Thank you. Congratulations. And then the last one um, is the beige van, um, D A N X U. Thank you very much. I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but thank you so much everyone for coming. Um, and thank you because I'm, I'm the guy off YouTube. I'm the one that people recognise, but this team is the reason why we can do this because the Transport HQ team are what supports us and keeps us doing this. Um, but yes, thank you very much everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you've had a good day. To finish off, I'm down at the end. We've tried to keep all the modern stuff out of the way of all the preface stuff. ID buzzes and T6s over there. But the reason why I'm down this end is because this was a good opportunity for us to launch the new Navis chopper wheel. So I'll take you a little bit closer and show you some of the, the wheels we've got here. They're going to be available in this colour here, which is the standard silver. On my van over here, T6.1. Sorry about that for all you preface guys. Finished in bronze and then they're also going to be available in black. So, down to the success of this barbecue, we always get asked, are we going to do more? The problem is if we just opened up the barbecue, oh, there you go, you sound, hear the sound of a 2.5 leaving. It's such a clear sound. So we always get asked when we're going to do more barbecues. The problem we have, if we just opened up barbecues to everybody and we did ticket sales, it'd sell out in a few hours and we could probably only hold 200, 220 vans here at absolute most. So we try and keep to a kind of niche barbecues and events like the lowdown event like this resist the lift event so following on from here the next event and the reason why i'm down this end of the unit where the uh, navis unit is is because the next event coming up will be a navis event dates to follow on that but anybody will be welcome that's got navis wheels and we'll be using that as an opportunity to launch some super sexy new navis wheels one piece forge two piece splits and various other ones so keep your eyes peeled on our social media for details when uh, that event's going to be but currently aiming for around mid-july I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope if you've got a preface vehicle and you attempted to facelift, seeing some of these amazing vans may have put you off the idea and you've decided to stay with the whole idea of keeping it preface, keep it original. Uh, trust me, it'll add value to your van in years to come. Because these are classics, like Bayes were. You know, if when you come to sell these, people are going to look at a facelifted vehicle and go, ah, oh, no, I want the original look, because these the, will be the most desirable look from a future classic point of view. I'm not saying that T5.1s and T6s and T6.1s are wrong. I'm just saying, I think, and many people, and all these guys here think, if you've got a preface T5, keep it a preface T5, and just do some things to make it look as stunning as these things over here. Over there, I've got to point that one out. That's a facelifted T5 to T5.1, and he's just put all the front end to put it back to a preface, because he's realized that's the best way for it to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Plenty more content to come, please do. Press that like button, share it with anybody that may be interested or is thinking of facelifting or has a preface that might be interested in this video. Please do subscribe to the channel, click that little bell icon to get notifications when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for watching.